Enjoy Cant with Beauty Fashion Simply. I'm your fashion optician, teaching you how to see design lines and colors that transform you from plain Jane to proud Mary. This is my video series called Design Lines Friend or Foe, where I teach you how to start seeing design lines on outfits. I'll also explain what body elements are enhanced by each one. This way, when you go to your closet or out shopping, you can start identifying design lines. And once you understand your body elements, you can determine if they're gonna work for you. What design lines will we be looking at? We're gonna look at the silhouette, the horizontal lines, the vertical lines, and then the shape of the design lines. I'm having my assistant, Mary, model outfits that I find at the Macy store in Roseville, California. Today, she is wearing a Ralph Lauren jumpsuit and a necklace by Lucky Brand. Let's get started. The first design line that I'll talk about is the silhouette. The silhouette is the outside line of an outfit. It's the difference between the shoulders, the waist, and the hips. It comes in two categories, angular and curved. You have the angular category where the shoulders, waist, and hips have the appear to have the same width. While the curved category, the waist is significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips. The body element that gives you clues to which category is your body shape. Body shape comes in the same two clues. The angular body shape, the waist isn't significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips, while the curved category, the waist is significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips. So if you have an angular body shape, you go for the angular silhouette. If you have a curved body shape, you go for the curved silhouette. So let's look at this outfit, and more specifically, the jumpsuit. Mary has a curved body shape, and this jumpsuit naturally curves to her body shape, so it appears that it's a curved, body a curved silhouette. But in actuality, both angular and curved can wear this um, jumpsuit because it's made out of a jersey neck, which naturally molds to your body. So either body shape is gonna look good in this silhouette. The next design line that I'll talk about, horizontal design lines. Horizontal lines, they're going to stop your eye, emphasize that area, make it appear a little wider, and a little shorter. The two body elements that gives you clues to the placement of these design lines, body shape, body portion. So for body shape, you don't wanna put them in your widest areas because it's gonna make those, er emphasize that area and make it appear a, even wider and more out of proportion with the rest of your body. But you do wanna put them in your thinner areas because it's going to emphasize that area, make that area appear a little wider and more in portion with your wider areas. For body proportions, you don't want to put them in short areas because it's going to make that area appear even shorter, but you do want to put them in longer areas because it's going to make that area appear shorter and more in proportion with the rest of your body. So let's look at this outfit. And the way you look at design, figure out horizontal lines is where do your eyes stop? So we start up at the chin and we go down and it stops right at the neckline, the curved neckline. And then it stops along the way on these necklaces. And then if you keep going down, it stops at the waist. So let's 
um, identify these with the different body shapes and body proportions. So for body shape, having all of these horizontal lines would be perfect for your O and your A body shape because it's going to emphasize this area and make it appear slightly wider and more in balance with your wider areas. But if you are a V body shape, it brings emphasis to this wider area, make it appear a little wider, and more out of balance with the rest of your body. So for body proportions, if you are short between your chin and your bust, then that's gonna make that area appear a little shorter. But if you're long in that area, then these horizontal lines are gonna be perfect because it's gonna make that area appear a little shorter and more in balance with the rest of your body. So let's go down to this horizontal line at the waist. If you have an A body shape, this horizontal line is gonna bring emphasis to this area, make it appear a little wider and more out of proportion. So it wouldn't work for your A body or your O body shape. But if you have an A or an O body shape, this is perfect because it's going it's in a thinner area and creates emphasis in this area and makes it appear a little wider and more in balance with the wider areas. The next design line that we'll talk about are vertical design lines. Vertical lines move your eye up and down and move away from the areas you don't want to look at. It also helps look, make that area look thinner and taller. The two body elements that give you clues to the placement of these design lines, body shape, body proportions. So for body shape, you do want to put them in the areas that you're the widest because it's number one will move your eye away from that area but also make that area appear a little thinner but you don't want to put them just in your thin areas because it's going to make those areas appear even thinner and um, more out of proportion with your wider areas for body proportions, you do want to put them in your short area because it's going to make those areas appear a little longer, but you don't want to put them in your long areas, just in your long areas because it's going to make that area appear even longer. So let's look at this outfit. So the way you figure out vertical lines is what's going to bring your eye down. So we'll start at the top and we'll go down. Now part of this necklace does have vertical lines like this outside line, it brings your eye down, but it stops along the way because of all the horizontal lines in there. So it doesn't really affect your body proportions or body frames, um, body proportions and body shape because there's just so much going on in it. So I would go more with your horizontal lines. The other vertical line are the center front flaps on here. They bring your eye from the waist all the way down to the floor. So how does that affect your body shape and body proportions? So for body shape, it's perfect for your A body shape because it's going to take your eye from a thinner area, passes through the wider areas, and goes down to the floor, resulting in that area appearing a little thinner. If you have a V body shape, this is not really a great vertical line placement because it's just in a thin area. So it's gonna make this area appear even thinner and making your shoulders look even more out of proportions. So for body proportions, 
if you are long or short, if you're long in this area, you don't really want that. But because it passes your eye over that long area and it goes all the way down to the floor, it doesn't really affect it that much. Now, if it was just in that area, yes, that would not be a great placement of vertical lines. For body pro um, proportions, also the horizontal vertical lines for your, if you had short legs versus a long body, this is perfect because it's gonna make the legs appear a little longer. But if you have long legs and a short butt, um, torso, having this vertical line might not be as good for you because it's gonna make your legs look even longer and resulting in looking your torso looking, appearing even shorter. The next design line that we'll look at is design line shape. Design lines come in two categories. You have an angular category and a curved category. The angular, you're gonna see lots of angles. In the curve, you're gonna see lots of curves. You find design line shape in three different areas. You see it in the outfit itself, like in collars, pockets, lapels, and necklines. You'll also find it in accessories. So necklaces, handbags, shoes, belts, and then also prints. The body element that gives you clues to which category, angular or curved, is your face shape. If your face shape is angular, then you're gonna look for angular design lines. If your face shape is curved, then you're gonna look for curved design lines. So let's look at this outfit. So let's first look at the jumpsuit itself. The neckline, you can see that it is curved. And if you have an angular face shape as a little tip, you can counterbalance this curve by wearing a necklace that has an overall angular feel to it. And then the second piece is this detailing right here. It's kind of like a belt buckle. And if you can tell, the, these are round and the, the buckle itself is also round. So looking at this jumpsuit, it, the, the design lines on it are curved. So let's look at the necklace. The necklace has beads on it, which is curved. It also has these charms, which are curved. And then you have this pearl shape in the middle, which is also a curve, but there are also angular design lines in it. So on this, um, charm, there's angular around the pearl, and several of the chains have a long chain looped in it, which is more angular. And then at the very bottom, you have this straight line across, which is also angular. I showed you the design lines on this outfit. The ones that create the silhouette, the horizontal lines, the vertical lines, and then the shape of the design lines. I hope you see clothes and design lines with a whole new perspective. If you like what you saw, subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll be uploading a new video every Wednesday. Do you want to know more about design lines? Then download my free ebook, Seven Steps to Evaluate Clothes. It's in the links below. So why is it important to understand design lines? Because clothes change how you feel. They can help you tap into your confidence and personal power. As a result, you're able to pursue your passions, create impact, and make this world a better place to live. 
wear your greatness today.